Tables are used to lay out data in rectangular grid. They consist of cells or intersections between rows and column. To insert a table, we're going to click on the Insert tab, and we will use this option right here that looks like a little table. Click on that, and you will see, by default, there are three rows and three columns. You will also notice that there are white columns, headings, and side headings. Those are used for selection. So if I were to click right here on this one, you will see that it selects the entire column. That one selects the entire column, and all I'm doing is touching on this bar that's on the top. Next, I'm gonna go and touch on one of these buttons. If I touch the top one, it'll select the whole table. If I select any of the other ones, it'll select the entire rows. Or I should say entire row. Rows, remember, run horizontally from left to right. Columns run from top to bottom. Next, we're going to put our cursor in the first cell. Remember, a cell is a rectangular selection of data. And we are going to type in our schedule. Okay, so as the header, as a heading of the column, we are going to call this one, we're going to type in period. This column is for my class. Oops. And this is for my teacher. When I touch back in this first cell, in the second row, I'm going to put number one and whatever I have for the first class. My first class is accounting. And obviously, I'm the teacher. Then I'm going to click down there, period two, and I'm going to put my second hour classes, word processing. And again, I am the teacher. Okay, so now we've run out of rows. So I'm going to select one row, and I can go up here to insert, and I'm going to insert below. And you can see that I will get a blank, a blank line or a blank row. Okay, if I want to select more than one row, for example, I could go through and I could select, just drag my selection and select the whole table. This time when I hit this insert, and I'm gonna insert below, I will get as many as I highlighted. For example, four more rows. Okay, now I'm ready to go again. Period three, I have study hall. And then period four, I have I can't even spell my own name, right? Period five, I have keyboarding. Period six. And period seven. So again, now I have all my data in, in my chart here, or in my table. Next, I'm going to add or start manipulating my table. If I go down to this lower right-hand corner, you can see that you have two arrows. If I start moving that, you can see that I can make my table a different shape. And as I make it a different shape, my rows get a little bit taller, my columns adjust, and so forth. So we're going to make it about right like that. Okay, then we can go into each cell and we can manipulate the font, the size, the style, and so forth. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to select my data. I'm going to go to my table option. And in my table option, I have lots of different things that I can do. So I'm going to go to this one right here. And I will be able to center. And you can see it's centered from left to right. If I want to go in here, I can also center it from top to bottom. 
and I'm going to choose the middle and you can see if I click the bottom it goes way to the bottom and the middle is in the middle of the cell so no matter how big I make my table my data is always going to be in the middle from top to bottom left to right okay, next, next I'm going to select this first row and again all I did was click on this right here and with that first row I'm going to add a little shading maybe I want to make it that color just to offset the titles to my table then I'm going to go in here and you can see up here there are two lines and if I point on that line and I adjust it a little bit you can see how you can adjust the width of your first column if I click in the second one I can adjust the width of my second column so I don't have to have them all the same width if I don't want and my third column and you can see how I have them different widths um, just wide enough so that the data can fit in there I can also select the entire table I can go home and I could bump it up to a 14 point font or I could choose a different font if I wanted to not too fond of that one so I'll go back to that one right there and again you can do everything you did like with your word processor okay and again you can make your adjustments with what you want next I'm going to insert a slot for lunch so I'm going to click on that right there select that line there I'm going to go to my table tab I'm going to insert and if the lunch is after period four I'm going to insert it below okay then lunch doesn't have a period or a teacher so I'm going to select those three cells and I'm going to come up here and hit this button where it says to merge them and I'm going to merge the cells so now it is one large cell and I'm going to put lunch in there I'm also going to add a title to my table because I want the title right in my table so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to insert above and you can see what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to select those three and I'm going to merge them and type in my schedule and of course this is a heading so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to probably bump it up even a little bit more than that let's go to 28 I might want to make it bold and so you can see that it is the title of my table I'm going to also go back into this line and maybe bold face those a little bit so when I click off my table there it is looks pretty good lastly we'll just take a look at adjusting row height so again go over to your row click on one of your rows and you will notice that there are two lines and just like your columns you will grab those to adjust the row height I'm going to undo this so it goes back to normal but again you can do that with any of your rows now you need to go to your home page in Canvas and check out what your assignment is.